A major part of learning new words, besides reviewing them and practicing saying them out loud, is to use them in conversation as soon and as often as possible. But in reality, we know that doesn't always happen, does it? To help you build a larger, more complex, permanent vocabulary with advanced words that have great meaning and are fun to use, review all of the word definitions and the sample sentence in this video before challenging yourself with a free word challenge assessment of all the words you're about to hear and see. The benefit of testing yourself is that you'll be increasing and reinforcing your ability to understand these words when you hear them being used and have a greater range of words in conversation as well as in writing. Take notes if you want. Here we go. The first word is apathy is showing a complete lack of emotion or motivation to perform an activity or even complete lack of interest, enthusiasm, concern, or disinterest about someone or something. When apathy is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The result of too much information can confuse people and create a great deal of apathy to want to learn more. Complacent is to have self-satisfaction accompanied by unawareness of a potential danger. When complacent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. You should not be complacent when playing with fire or you could get burned. Impudent is when someone shows contemptuous or cocky boldness or disregard to others or when someone lacks modesty and is offensively bold and disrespectful. When impudent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The impudent politician ignored the reporter's questions. Benevolent is to be well-meaning and kindly, to give without asking for something in return. When benevolent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The youth sports teams are supported by thousands of benevolent donations. Lackadaisical is lacking bodily energy or motivation, lacking life, spirit, or zest. When lackadaisical is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The employees were lackadaisical in completing their routine and boring work. Inadvertent is when something happens not resulting from or achieved through deliberate planning. When inadvertent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. An inadvertent spelling error caused much confusion about how to complete the project. Industrious is to be diligent and hardworking. When industrious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Ants are very industrious in how they build and maintain their colonies. Zeal is to have great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause, objective, or goal. When zeal is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The players show great zeal to win the game today. Exuberance is the quality or state of being full of energy, excitement, happiness, and cheerfulness. When exuberance is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The effects of being isolated for so long have taken away the exuberance from many people's lives. Judicious is having exercised good or discriminating judgment and good thinking in reaching decisions based on wisdom, sensibility, or being well advised. When judicious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. It may not be a judicious decision to invest in future technologies that are not yet available to consumers. Gregarious is describing a person who enjoys socializing and being in crowds or to describe how certain animals and plants behave. When gregarious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Normally talkative and gregarious, the player has become increasingly impatient and secluded from public in the weeks prior to the long tournament schedule. Esoteric is something that is intended for or likely to be understood by only a small number or an inner circle of people with a specialized knowledge or interest in something. When esoteric is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Today, the competitors will be competing with the best in the world in one of the most esoteric martial arts on the planet. Pernicious is to cause much harm in a subtle way or is highly injurious or destructive, something that is also wicked. When pernicious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Over the past few years, many pernicious conspiracy theories have started to become very popular and believable. Obfuscate is an instance of intentionally obscuring the meaning of something to make it more difficult to grasp or the concept of concealing the meaning of communication by making it more confusing and harder to interpret. When obfuscate is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. It is amazing how politicians can obfuscate or even lie and believe people won't see through them. Fervor is having an intense, heated emotion or passionate enthusiasm for something. When fervor is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The new documentary may have created a new fervor about convincing and converting opinions on what really happened. Equivocate is to express one's opinions with intent to deceive or to use ambiguous expressions to mislead and even lie about something. When equivocate is used in a sentence, it looks and sounds like this. 
I am not one to equivocate what happened in the past, so I will move on to current matters. Contrite is sincerely feeling or expressing remorse at one's own actions that wrong was done as a sense of guilt. When contrite is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. There's nothing wrong with admitting and accepting that you've made a big mistake and saying sorry in an honest, contrite manner. Gullible means to be easily deceived or fooled by information in a permissive or obedient manner that may be considered foolish or even stupid. When gullible is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. There are many people who are gullible and act on information and stories that they hear on the news before verifying what really happened with multiple sources. Insipid is something that is lacking the qualities that challenge or are interesting in stimulating. Insipid is also something lacking in taste or flavor and is not appealing. When insipid is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The plate of food looks so tasty in pictures, but in reality was insipid without the correct ingredients to give it the flavor. Jovial is to be good humored and cheerful. When jovial is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. It's always best to be around jovial people to help increase your positive energy and boost your mood. Impervious is to not be capable of being damaged, harm, affected, disturbed, or is an impenetrable shield. When impervious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Her outward emotions seem to be impervious to the rumors being spread on social media. Facetious is when something is said that may be treating a serious issue with inappropriate humor that is meant to be funny or even a joke. When facetious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The slightly facetious way the reporter explained what happened is just part of why people don't take the news serious anymore. Debilitating is when there is a severe loss of strength or the ability to function normally. When debilitating is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Many people have a debilitating fear of public speaking that can be overcome with training, practice, and repetition. Ostentatious is something that is highly ornate and extravagant that is designed to be showy and impressed through an obvious attempt to draw attraction. When ostentatious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The billionaire liked to show off his collection of ostentatious cars, yachts, and mansions spread around the world. Superfluous is something that is not needed, left unused, abandoned, or unnecessary when there is already enough above what is required. When superfluous is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The school will be selling off the older unused and superfluous musical instruments after making new equipment purchases this summer. Quaint is something that is unusual or different in character or appearance. Quaint can also be something that is marked by skillful design or marked by beauty or elegance. When quaint is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The antique store was filled with quaint old furniture and memorabilia. Ardent is showing great passion, urgent interest, desire, enthusiasm, and or loyalty for something or someone. When ardent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. My ardent support for you to learn more words is a labor of love to teach and share. Contempt is the act of despising or feeling the lack of respect towards someone or something in a way that is willful disobedience towards authority figures, especially in a court of law. When contempt is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The judge had to explain to the young defendant that his contempt for following the law would become very expensive if he continued his actions. Blatant is when something is very obvious and intentional and can often be viewed as negative, offensive, or even vulgar. When blatant is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The politician told a blatant lie to the reporters who demanded answers on the latest scandal. Petulant is when someone is behaving, speaking, or acting rude to others in a childish or irritable manner. When petulant is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Young teenagers who try to get what they want by being petulant will learn that their whining and complaining will quickly be ignored by strong-willed adults. Conscientious implies a desire to perform a task well with a high regard in doing so with a set of standards or rules that are clear in what is right and what is wrong. When conscientious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. As a hardworking, conscientious, honest teacher, I am passionate about offering my students better ways to succeed and reach their goals. Appease is to make concessions to someone, to a critic, or a group, often at the sacrifice of your own principles, to bring about a state of calmness, peace and quiet, or contentment, perhaps even out of the fear of being hurt. 
When appease is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The politician was known to quickly change her stance on any issue to appease her supporters. Perplexing is something that is confusing, puzzling, or concealed through deception, whether on purpose or just by not understanding of what it is or means. When perplexing is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Of all the perplexing problems we face today, which one is the most important for you to learn more about? Condescending is to put someone down by showing superiority or being patronizing to them by talking down to them. When condescending is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The newly hired employee stated, I'm inexperienced, not stupid, so please don't be so condescending to me. Indelible is something that is permanent and lasting, that is difficult to wash away, cancel, delete, forget, or remove, such as ink from a pen. When indelible is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. You should use an indelible ink pen for your handwritten final essay. Resilient is to be capable of recovering quickly from a sudden unpleasant event, such as an injury or unfortunate event. When resilient is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The resilient team came back to win the game after losing their best player. Acquiescent is when someone is willing to accept, agree, or react to something without objection or protest that can sometimes be perceived as weakness. When acquiescent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The politician was well known for being too acquiescent to the demands of special interest money and the lobbyists' influence. Abhorrent is when there is a strong dislike, hatred, or disgust towards something based on beliefs, values, and or moral reasons. When abhorrent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. After losing many friends over her past comments, she realized how abhorrent her words were and deleted all of the offensive content. Ambivalent is to have mixed feelings or differing ideas about something or someone. When ambivalent is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The survey found that 51% of those interviewed were either ambivalent or not interested in the subject being asked. Conniving is when someone designs secret plans to conspire to do something immoral, illegal, or harmful to or against other people. When conniving is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. She's a conniving, heartless, arrogant politician. Egregious is something that is shocking, flagrant, outstandingly very bad and or offensive. When egregious is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. The egregious actions of a few people brought the loudest voices against the entire movement that led to the investigation of its leaders. Eradicate is to completely destroy something or get rid of it permanently. When eradicate is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. Scientists are trying to eradicate the disease from ever occurring again. Fortuitous is when something happens by chance, luck, coincidence, or by accident, usually with a favorable or a beneficial outcome. When fortuitous is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. He laughed to himself as he realized how lucky he'd been that the simple accident had such fortuitous results in avoiding a real catastrophe. Vacuous is something that is lacking content, empty, or showing a lack of intelligence, ideas, or feelings. When vacuous is used in a sentence, it sounds and looks like this. She's perfected laughing when confronted with hard questions, projecting an attitude of vacuous concern for whatever the topic is. That's enough for today. You don't have to do this now, but don't procrastinate too long on challenging yourself with a free word knowledge assessment listed in the description below. If you want to review these words again, you can replay this video or check out this video right now that contains several advanced vocabulary words along with their definitions, many sample sentences with the various word forms that include adjectives, nouns, adverbs, verbs, and each main word synonyms and antonyms. Remember that my goal is to provide you with words for success and that your success is the goal. I'll see you online soon.